Welcome to The Breeze with Steve. Filling in for Steve, it's me, Jim. It's time to shoot The Breeze. Today we have special guest Jan Ulbrich with us. Alongside with Jan is his mustache. Welcome, Jan. Pleasure to meet you. I wish I could say the same thing. Well, let's move on. Why did you grow the mustache? What kind of question is that? You paid me to do the interview. How long have you been pro-mustache? Does the mustache make Jan Ulbricht? Or does Jan Ulbricht make the mustache? I'm more than just a pretty face with hair coming out of it. I get feelings. I'm a real person. I didn't always have the mustache. I, I agree. If you could rank your mustache on a scale between classy and impressive, how would you rank it? I'd say it's around Adonis. How do you keep it in such fascinating shape? When I was a young boy, my brother and I, we got stranded in a, a field of orange grove down in Florida. We ended up surviving on oranges for three weeks. What are your thoughts on a man that had a mustache and decides to rid it from his life? Well, that's like treason. You know, uh, we were blessed with something, and, and you should take full advantage of it. How many times daily do you look at your mustache? Today? 152. 153. What does your wife and child think? when they look at your mustache. You mean the wife that won't touch me, or the daughter that won't look me in the eye? Well, Jan, it was uh, great to meet you and your furry little friend. Are we done here? Yeah, we're, uh, we're done. Good. Well, that was The Breeze with Steve, filling in for Steve. I'm Jim. We just shot The Breeze. I'd like to thank Jan Albrecht and his mustache for joining us today. Until next week, take care. In a world full of mustaches, where does a man stand? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's like the trailer for a movie. He just asked him a bunch of questions. He didn't even acknowledge them. It sounds like he's about to acknowledge that. That sounded like a movie trailer. <laughs> In a world full of mustaches. <laughs> One man stands.